welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to Valiant Hearts. I am doing a replay of this because I have new internet and hopefully things are all better. So yay for better. Start a new game? Yes, because it's all better now. I'm praying the quality will have improved, but we just don't know. We will find out, won't we? That's all we can do, people. That's all we can do. August 1st, 1914. After the assassination of Prince Franz Ferdinand of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the German Empire declares war on Russia. Because of established alliances, France is preparing for conflict. A few hours after the announcement of the general mobilization, German civilians living in France are asked to leave the country. Carl is one of them. Get out of the country, Carl. Guy looks so buff, doesn't he? <laughs> no. Put on your cap and get out. It's time for war. A few war. days after Carl was deported, the war was hungry for more and took away Emil as well. A heavy hearted Emil was called up to fight and left the farm for San Diego. Like so many others, he had no idea what fate had in store for him. Fate? Come on, Emil. You've got your cap. We call this Officer Francois. Just stop being so aggressive. Good Lord, man. I'm out of my civvies and I'm in my sexy, sexy underwear with all these other sexy, sexy Frenchmen. Come on, then. Okay, go back again. Hello. Early in the war, all the French wore these red and blue uniforms, which is great for camouflage. Thumbs up. Thank you, Francois. Off we go. Love me the music. Oh, if only I could hit things. Down he goes. Thank, thank you, sir. I'll pick one up for later. Yay! More thumbs up. Oh, collectible. Ah, a pickle helm. I'll give that a whacking. Yay! Grenades! Man, if that's as hard as war is, we'll be fine. They all just stand there. Emil looks well up for it, doesn't he? Raise the flag. Oh, everyone's super happy. 150th Regiment of Infantry. All right then. My dear Marie, we are on our way to Paris. The atmosphere here is strangely cheerful. I hope that the harvest goes well. Rely on our neighbors for help. 
They've always been gracious and charitable people. I'll write again as soon as I get my assignment. Please kiss my little grandson for me. So this is the granddad. The As fellow with the blonde hair, I'm guessing, is son-in-law? ...to reach his regiment at Platform 21. Emil would meet the man he would soon fight alongside. The man who would come to be... Ah. ...his truest friend. Racist Frenchman, what are you doing? Leave him alone. Ah, steam will sort you out. Ha! <laughs> Shake my fist at your steam. Yeah, he's only got half an enemy now. I'll take your wine. Are you upset? Would you mind? No, he's just getting another one. It's fine. He don't. He don't care. What do you need? Wine. I'll let you through if you give me wine. It's like implying the entire French army was just drunk all the time. Look at all the wine bottles around. A new diary entry. I started training at the military camp today. I can't help thinking of Karl, who's probably doing the same in Germany. The declaration of war has created havoc. I hope Marie and the neighbours managed to finish the harvest in time. Bless. The harvest. You want music, eh? War is declared. I'm not going to read all those. Alright. No, wrong buttons. Everyone is super happy. Do 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 do. Look at them all dancing around there. You friendly bunch. Collectible. Let's go get a collectible. No one cares. I'm just. Why would a pen be left up there? I best not think about it. No one cares. I'm just running around though. I'm on top of this train. You sir, get down. Ha <laughs> ha. There we are. Serve you right, racist Frenchman. Just leave him alone. For goodness sake. He's so manly, he doesn't even need to wear a jacket. Where are you from? America! That's right, we keep our shoulders bare in America. Bye! August 21st, 1914. Emil's regiment was sent to fight against the 71st German Division, led by Baron von Dorf. The general cheer of the first hours dissipated into the fear of first combat. Jeezy crazy. No gun for me. Just a flag. Come on, Francois. As long as I'm with you, sir, we can manage anything. You've got a pistol and a sword. That'll stop those machine guns. Yeah. Jeez. This is stupid. They're firing, sir. They're firing. Oh, God. I feel like I'm in the wrong place entirely. No. Oh, no, Emil. He's, he's got a bullet to the face. Slow down. There we are. Slow down again. This ain't that hard. Oh, uh, it wouldn't let me slow down that one. I had to run past that one. Damn it all, game. With your mixed messages. So run past this next one. Not a lot of French have fallen yet, though. We're all mostly okay. Our little shiny red caps. Oh, Francois. Can I pick up your sword now? Okay. This is where we really start to fall. God, there's like hardly anyone left. Ah. War is hell, people. It's like me and these two guys. Like everyone else is gone. I I'm alone. Why am I running? I'm alone. Emil! Emil! Why? Mm. 
Let's go. Miss Marie Chayon. Private Emile Chayon from the 150th Infantry Regiment was wounded by enemy fire on August 21st. He has been captured by the enemy. Hopefully, you shall receive news from him soon. It's like all you get to know. Just stay at home and wait forever for information. Originally from America, enlisted voluntarily in the French forces at the start of the war. Behind his bravery, hid a man already devastated by the war's effects. A man with one sole obsession. He's got a Punish dark side. Who had destroyed his life. Who destroyed his life and how? He can have a dark side too. That Freddy finally picked up the trail of the regiment commanded by Baron Von Dorf. Von Dorf? Oh, Von Dorf. Come on, Freddy. You can do all sorts of wire cutting. You're the best of cutting of wires. And you can buff things too. You know how to buff things. Any diary entry? Okay, we need a diary entry. At last I can't wait to get fighting. Maybe at least some of the pain I feel inside. Ah, oh, Freddy. Oh, collectible. That fella just got it. Freddy don't care though, he's well up for any. Look at him. Take another grenade just in case. Alright, don't worry, I'm on it. I got the clippers. I guess Freddy's like an engineer or something. Why don't they ever give any of them a gun? No man, what are you doing? I'm worried about the reload. I'll let him shoot and then I'll go. Ah, not so good now, are you a Frenchman? Oh no, German man. Sneaky, sneaky. Can I give him a buffin? Yes! <laughs> Look at all this conveniently late TNT. No fear. Come on, man. Push it down. Run away. Run away. Oh, the guy knocked out unconscious. Yeah, he's dead now. And that's okay. This is war. The Battle of Mahan. I'll take that. Oh, there's a little collectible there. A map. <laughs> no friends for me, eh? No friends. Take a stick bomb instead. I don't know where the stick bombs appeared though. They weren't there earlier. Oh, Freddy, he's got a good arm. He loves his throwing. In you go, Freddy. Get in there. Up you go, Freddy. That's it, Freddy. Cut those wires. Don't mess around now. And give it to that German fella. There we are. Don't mess around now. A fellow with the rifle there's just hiding, isn't he? He's not even pretending like he's doing real soldiering. I see it. Don't worry, I'm on it. Von Dorf! A reckoning will happen between us, Von Dorf. Not today, though, you're in a Zeppelin. Go, go, go! Freddy, Freddy, Freddy. Whoa! Pulling, 
Would he shoot me? Up there. Can I give him a pop in on the head? Pop on the head, yes! What's out here? Oh, a collectible. Apples. Gotta love them apples. Oh, break the window first. So. I see those two aren't firing the machine gun anymore. Go on, give him a bopping. He's got no fear, Freddy, is he? So I, I single actually capture everything. Rip a flag in half with my manly arms. I couldn't do that if I tried. Thanks Not in the real world. From British forces, the German plan failed. The front line moved back to the north, and with the arrival of winter, froze. Soldiers holed up amid a vast labyrinth of trenches and tunnels that would become the indelible image of the Great War. No oh, trench warfare. Carl's regiment retreated to the outskirts of New Chapelle, the same camp where Emil was being held prisoner. Ah, oh. Carl and Emil together again, two of a kind, the very best friends. One is a German and one is a French. I'm a prisoner, Emil the prisoner. A dog wants. What do you want, doggy? Water, oh, okay. I can do water. Schlup de last. You enjoy your pipe, mate. You enjoy it. Uh, are we best friends now, doggy? I shall call him dog meat. A picture of my beloved daughter. Manly Pat. Dearest Papa, we live in a climate of uncertainty. Germans use the people of Samuel as human shields against the French bombings. I hope the Germans treat you well and that your wound has healed. Your grandson sent you kisses. I sent you a picture of him. All my love. Please write soon. That little boy's growing up. He was a baby earlier. Ah, uh, you want sausages? I see that. Nope. Okay. Water. Fire. <laughs> That's like the most disgusting food ever. It's literally sausages dropped in water. It's been on the heat for like three seconds. The British guns. You got your sausages? No! God. No, run away! Oh my god, bombs. I think everyone died. Everyone died. Yay, dog meat! Are we friends? Am I alive? Pull me out, mate. Come on. Yes. Hello. Let's be friends. You and me. Yay. Good boy. I can break this, don't worry. We need each other. We're pals. I think your own is dead. Come on. I don't think he's alright. Carl flew away. Oh. Get that boy. And back to me. <laughs> he 
a little manly. Oh, muscles. Oop. That's it. Hold it. Run, 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 run. Yeah. And pull that. And then run, 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 run. That's it. Because they're a good team, dog. You and me, dog meat. The Battle of New Chapelle, which is this battle. It's quite sobering to think that this is actually a thing that happened. War, millions dead, and we're just playing a computer game of it. Come on, boy, let's go. The French and Germans are fighting, and everyone's falling over. Did dog not come? There we are, come on, boy. Don't leave me, you're my only hope. Ladle, the best of ladles. Not that way. Well, that looks explosive. Yeah, I agree. We're not going that way, am I? Get in there. There we go. A bullet on a little hook. Yes, take that wall. I see it. I see it. Don't worry. Get it then. Good lad. A uh, bone? You don't know whose that is? That could be anybody's. Dude. What are you digging up bones for? Could be anyone's bone. No, I'll take that. That's gross. There we are. And I know how to get rid of the ordnance. With a bone. Stay back, boy. Come on, dog meat. Step back. Dog meat. Stay back. No. All right then. Oh, you're fine. Yes, manly fist pump. This feels unsafe. Oh, Jesus. I'm okay. I'm okay. What's that you want? Why do you want that? Is that sausage? Stop running! You're an idiot! No! Ah, dog me! No! Well, they both died. Minutes earlier, on the other side of the throat. The British troops continue no, their attack on Neuve Chapelle. Their next objective. Take back Port Arthur. Punch him in the face. We need you, Freddy. You're the only American we have. And these Indian infantry we have with us too. Can we go back, Freddy? I want to go back in there. Nope. Nope, can't. Always forward, Freddy. Never backwards. Guys, hide behind this convenient barrier. Nope. Just... Nope. Alright then. Oh no, I think I left it too late. No, it's okay. Why wouldn't they hide behind the convenient barrier? Hello, British. I'll get this, don't worry. Oh, God, guns coming in. No, I'm all right. Barricade barrier. Convenient. God, the hat spin when you get shot. It's really sad. Ah, oh, Freddy, your fury was too... Too soon, Freddy. It's fine, let's try again. I'm getting distracted by Freddy's manly muscles. Boom. Me and you, Montgomery, we can do it. Just us two. And all the men that look exactly like you with their lovely little mustaches. 
Oh, coinage. Let's go down here. What's down here? A mine. No, that's not right. There we are. One. Give me the TNT, man. Come on. Dude. Two. Oh, he's super excited. Look at him. He's so happy. Why would you design, like, these still girded stuff and a rolly... Why would you make it like this? Why not just a little tunnel? Ah, oh, Freddy, you can't throw for the life of you. Come on, Freddy. There we are. Yeah! Party time! Let's do some explosions. This doesn't feel safe. Freddy don't care, though. Freddy never cares. Freddy's just going with it. He's going to take some TNT with him, too. Freddy's just on it, isn't he? Oh, no! That's my friend from earlier. I remember him. He saved me with steam. Time to return the compliment. Bop. Uh, oh, did I kill Emil again? Okay, Emil keeps falling over. Uh, do you need help? Cut these things, please. Okay. Go, Freddy. Oh, Freddy, Emil, and dog meat. Yes. Beautiful. Can you cut my chains as well? You're no longer a prisoner, Emil. You are free. Germans. I'm also after my gran and my son-in-law. We have a shared purpose. Together! <laughs> Amidst the never-ending attacks and counter-attacks, Freddy and Emil hunted the elusive Baron and his regiment in Ypres. On April 22, 1915, chlorine gas was used for the first time by the Germans. Well, I feel this is a good place to stop it. I want to do half our episodes. Thank you all very much for watching. If you like what I do, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye!